Fluffable one day, lettuce wraps another day. Fluffable one day, lettuce wraps another day. Fluffable, and then it's the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Hey y'all, it's Lauren Toyota from Hot For Food and today I'm gonna show you how to make two very easy vegan back to school meal ideas using two convenient and delicious products that you can get at the grocery store from Eve's Veggie Cuisine. So I'm partnering with them. So thanks to Eve's for sponsoring and collaborating with me on today's video. And the reason I've partnered with Eve's is because they are one of the very first brands I ever used when I went vegetarian at the age of 12. I have fond memories eating those veggie dogs and the brand's been around since the 80s, made in Canada, very great meat substitutes. So that's what we're doing today. We're gonna to use their falafels and kale and quinoa bites. I'm gonna show you how to make a falafel bowl with roasted cauliflower and vegan tzatziki and some lettuce wraps with lemon aioli using the Eve's kale and quinoa bites. So we're gonna get started. I'm going to prep all the components for both meals and show you how to do that because the idea here is that you're going to prep in advance for back to school lunches and then you'll have five lunches for the whole week back to school. So let's start with the roasted cauliflower first. So cut up a large head of cauliflower into small florets like this. Then we're gonna add olive oil, cumin, coriander, chili flakes, salt, and ground pepper. Now just give it a good toss to coat all the spices and oil on all of the cauliflower florets. And then you can lay it out onto a baking sheet and bake for 25 minutes at 450. So another component we're gonna make for both of the meal ideas is a quick pickled cabbage or like a quick kraut. And we're gonna use purple cabbage for that. I'm gonna add warm water, apple cider vinegar, sugar, sea salt, and cumin seeds, and then give that a good mix, toss it up. And then you have to let this sit at least overnight and then it looks like this. So while the cauliflower is roasting and you've made the pickled cabbage in advance, we're gonna make the vegan tzatziki in one second. And then when there's 15 minutes left in the bake time for the cauliflower, that's when you'll add the Eve's falafels onto a baking sheet and then bake those until they're nice and golden brown. Uh, both the products I'm using today are gluten-free, totally vegan and full of fiber and very tasty. So for the tzatziki, add raw cashews to a blender, water, lemon juice, two garlic cloves, salt and pepper, and then blend that until it's really smooth. All right, you're going to grate uh, a cucumber and you need about half a cup shredded. And then you're just gonna strain the excess water from this. And so I'm using a nut milk bag and I'm putting it in there. You could use cheesecloth or you could squeeze it through a fine mesh sieve. And you just have to squeeze all the water out so that your tzatziki isn't overly watery, but nice and thick and creamy. So you'll see there's quite a lot of water in that cucumber. You're gonna get all the flavor without the liquid. And now to a bowl, add all of the cashew cream, the shredded cucumber, and some fresh dill. And then just refrigerate the tzatziki in advance as well. It'll get nice and flavorful once it's chilled and a little bit thicker. All right, here's our roasted cauliflower. Looking all toasty, all sexy and brown. Oh yeah, it's gonna be very tasty in the falafel bowl. And so you can just set this aside. Obviously if you wanna eat it nice and warm, you can do that. But if you're prepping it in advance, it's not going to be warm, but it will stay nice and caramelized obviously and tasty and spiced up. We're gonna use a little bit of this also for the lettuce wraps mixed in with the kale and quinoa bite filling. So I'm gonna show you how to make that really quick as well as the lemon aioli. And there is the baked falafel balls. They're very delicious. We just eat them like this. Dip them into the tzatziki. Mm. So a lot of the Eve's Veggie Cuisine products are perfect for transitioning to plant-based um, living, plant-based eating. Um, if you're looking for meat substitutes, sort of healthy snack substitutes like the falafel balls or the kale and quinoa bites, they have other options as well. Definitely check them out. Mm. Everything's made in Canada too. I'm Canadian, in case you didn't know. <laughs> so the aioli is vegan mayonnaise mixed with minced garlic, ground mustard, Dijon mustard, the zest of one lemon, and two tablespoons of lemon juice, salt, and ground pepper. So here's the Eve's kale and quinoa bites. You can bake them up just like this and eat them whole, similar to the falafels. But for this particular recipe, I'm going to crumble them up. And then we're going to saute them with onion and a little bit of olive oil and brown them up. OK, 
Okay, so the kale and quinoa bites are nice and browned up, a little bit crispy. They smell amazing. Um, of course, the base of this is kale and quinoa, but there's also chickpea flour, so it makes it a nice, hearty, substantial, kind of meaty, crumbly filling, and it has a little bit of like a chicken flavor, like the spices and stuff that Eve's have added into here. It's like chicken stock, chicken-like. It smells really good. We're ready to assemble these back to school meal ideas and they're both just inspiration for you. Of course, they're delicious and I made them perfectly. But if you have other ideas, you can mix and match and repurpose either the falafels or the kale and quinoa bites, however you like. So let's do this. Look at those beauty back to school meals. We've got our falafel bowl with roasted cauliflower and vegan tzatziki and lots of fresh veggies. And our kale and quinoa bite lettuce wraps with lemon aioli. Ooh, which one do I do first? Lettuce wrap? <laughs> now, of course, if you're gonna pack this for back to school, don't assemble the lettuce wraps. Pack the lettuce separate from all the fillings and then pack the sauce in a little separate container and then assemble it like this when you get to your, your table or whatever. Now, I was gonna dip. I made very large lettuce wraps. These are going to be very messy. I was gonna dip. Let's do a dip. Oh God. There we go. Mmm. Oh yeah, everything goes so nicely together. It's so fresh. Okay, am I a lettuce wrap pro or what? Look at that. Hold it together for your dip. watering. Am I crying? Is it so good that I'm crying? <laughs> I'm, I'm crying because I have to go back to school. Oh my god. Is it the onions? <laughs> oh my god. It's because that weird back to school feeling. I'm scared. <laughs> I hate that feeling. Mm. Okay, so those are super flavorful on their own. So are the falafels. But you know, I created these recipes to have really complimentary flavors to go with them, and like, it's really working. I've got parsley and dill, cucumber, the cabbage, some leftover roasted cauliflower from this dish, and then the lemon aioli. Mmm, it's delicious. Well, I plan on eating all of those, but let's also dig into our falafel bowl right now. We've got our hearty falafels, our tzatziki. I mean, this alone, just like this and this. I don't want to destroy this beautiful bowl, but you know, you want to get a little bit of everything. The cauliflower, the cabbage, with the falafel. Oh my God. That tzatziki's gonna be your new favorite sauce. Mmm. Mmm, I forgot to put lemon on it. Add some lemon. 
And then mix it all up. Also bring the sauce separately if you're packing this for work or for school. Mmm. These are some filling lunches. These are great. Mm. They'd also make really easy dinners when you get home from work or from school too. Well, I hope you like these ideas and let me know which one your fave is, the falafel bowl or the kale and quinoa bite lettuce wraps. Both delicious. Enjoy your back to school week. Uh, hopefully you try these both out. You can find the recipes in the link in the description as well as more info on Eve's Veggie Cuisine. And you can find their products, including both the ones I use today, in the produce and deli section of your local grocery store and in the link in the description below as well. If you use Eve's products, let me know which one your favorite is and how you like to use it. Because there's so many products, there's so many different ideas you can do. And uh, if you want to make these, post a photo at Hot For Food, tag me so I can see see and that's pretty much it oh my god so much luck going back to school i don't envy you at all no offense i don't miss school but you're gonna do great you're gonna ace all your exams at the end of the year <laughs> and hopefully you have a nice cute back to school outfit also that was always the fun part from going back to school in my like outfit that was like too hot to wear on the first day back to school <laughs> so i was like sweating my butt off oh my god memories all right, thanks so much to Eve's Veggie Cuisine for sponsoring and collaborating with me on today's video. And I'll see you guys next Wednesday for more love in the kitchen, in the Hot For Food kitchen. Bye.